Well, if you left the Iowa-Michigan State men's basketball game early, you're probably regretting that decision now. John Campbell has more on the crazy comeback. What a post-game scene at Carver-Hawkeye Arena. And the Dean of Big Ten coaches said it reminded him of 1993 when the Hawkeyes rallied in overtime to beat the Spartans in the first game following Chris Street's death. I've been here long enough where I've had a lot of disappointments. I've had a lot of exciting times, and today will go down as one of the worst. Izzo had just witnessed an unbelievable comeback by the Hawks, who trailed by 13 with time winding down in regulation. The regulation, um, I, I'm not going to lie, I thought the game was over, but... <laughs> They were never out of it. In their minds, they were never out of it. Fran was right. The gang that couldn't shoot straight the last two games found their touch at the right time. They hit five threes in the final 38 seconds to erase an 11-point Spartan lead. Chris Murray plugs the meter. And the biggest shot of regulation was authored by Peyton Sanford, a game-tying three with just three seconds remaining. I knew it was going in when he missed the free throw. <laughs> in the extra period, Connor hits Chris. Bingo! The Hawk defense comes up big, the steal. And when Murray misses, Tony's there to make it count. Seconds later, it's Perkins again. Iowa wins it 112-106, and the party was on. That's when I knew he was going to win. Once it went to overtime, we, the crowd was in it. We was in it. We was together. Um, we was focused. A game that will be long remembered in Hawkeye land. John Campbell, TV9 Sports.